Well, in the U.S., there is a marketplace um, called short duration ads. And these are ads that run in weather, traffic, and news. And <clears throat> I think it's our feeling that if you have a strong brand and if you're well known, that short form ads are great reminders uh, of who you are and what you do. A and um, <clears throat> one of the fathers of modern media planning said the job of advertising is to remind you of brands you know when you happen to have a need. So I think. Um, Short-term uh, ads are great if you're a well-established brand. Mm. If you're not, uh, buyer beware. Um, no, that's, that's, a, that's a really good point because, sorry to cut in, just the, yeah. uh, the, the, the examples which are in my mind tend to be um, what I would call digitally native e-commerce scale-ups that have probably got a great background in performance marketing online and have grown that way. And they're bringing some of that um, way of operating and thinking to radio. And that really connects with the point that you're making because these guys are not well known, but they're using short form um, strategies creatively. And I'm yes. not sure it's working for them yet. I, I would agree. And, and listen, if, if you are a direct to consumer marketer, you are painfully aware that the average time spent on a Facebook ad is about half a second. So it's almost like, um, <coughs> excuse me, flipping through a magazine and you quickly see a visual ad. There's no sound, it's very quick. And so that's all you get in Facebook. You get very low concentration, low attention and low time spent per ad. And so you start to think short is okay, short is my friend and that's, true in the world of social media where you're basically in the billboard business. Quick, half second, that's great. But in audio, people actually listen to the ads. And, <clears throat> and studies have shown that the ad avoidance to audio is one of the lowest of all measured media. Like people actually listen to these ads. So you have 30 seconds, you can build your brand, you can tell an emotional story. You know, um, the number one question I get about creative has to do with length. And what I tell people, it's the least important attribute to predicting success. You know, there, there's three other, there's three much more important questions. Should I be building my brand or am I trying to sell something today? Mm -hmm. And obviously we know through the work of Les Bennett and Peter Field that you're much better served building your brand if you want long-term you know, profit and revenue growth. The second question is, do I want rational creative, facts and figures, or do I want emotion-based creative, creative that makes me feel something? Again, the evidence is strongly on the side of create an emotion. You know, Maya Angelou said, people will forget what you said, but they'll remember how you made them feel. So emotions, you know, last. Um, <clears throat> and then the other question is, you know, tight targeting or broad targeting. Um, and as, uh, you know, Les Bennett and Sarah Carter say, you know, tight targeting means low sales and profits. <laughs> you know, so go for reach. Um, so those are, to me, the major levers. You know, the, the ad length is um, a minor thing. I mean... I, I would not recommend short ads for unknown brands, for sure. Um, don't get intoxicated by the cheap prices. Um, but you need to be explaining like why you're good, who you are, why someone should care. And that takes more time than, than 10 seconds. 